Starting from May 16, 2023, the international credit card spending outside of India has been categorized under the liberalized remittance scheme. Starting from July 1, 2023, there will be additional tax collected at source rate of 20% applicable to expenditures made with international credit cards. On Tuesday, May 16, 2023, the central government officially notified the amended rules under the FEMA, that is the Foreign Exchange Management Act, which now includes credit card spending outside of India under the liberalized remittance scheme. These amended rules will be effective from July 1, 2023. The introduction of credit card spending under the LRS is aimed at improving the monitoring of high-value overseas transactions. However, the government's decision to impose 20% TCS on international credit card spending has gained significant amount of attention on Twitter. 20% TCS emerged as one of the trending topics on the social media platform Twitter on Thursday morning, sparking discussions that began on this topic on Wednesday following the late-night notification on Tuesday. This implies that a 5% tax collection at source will apply till July 1, followed by a 20% TCS thereafter. These taxes can be adjusted against other taxes. The decision to impose a 20% tax collected at source on international credit cards has faced a significant amount of criticism from Twitter users. Many express their dissatisfaction and disapproval of the decision on the platform. Here are some of the key takeaways and implications. According to a report by the Financial Express, any credit card transactions made by individuals abroad will be subjected to the annual LRS limit of $250,000. Any spending exceeding this limit would necessitate a prior approval from the Reserve Bank of India. Effective from July 1, the international credit card transactions will be subjected to a tax collection at source of 20%. Until June 1, the TCS rate will remain 5%. The utilization of credit cards by the Indians during their foreign visits has been included in the LRS scheme since May 16, 2023. The LRS is regulated by the Reserve Bank of India. The increased TCS rate will be applicable to international credit card transactions from July 1, 2023. The objective behind implementing the 20% tax collected at sources rule is to enhance the Reserve Bank of India's control over foreign remittances. However, tax experts have expressed their concern that this rule might cause cash flow challenges for high net worth individuals and increase tax liabilities for many individuals. Experts are anticipating further clarifications from the government as to how they will differentiate between credit card expenditures made abroad and international online purchases. This clarification is sought to ensure a better understanding of the tax implications associated with these transactions. What transactions are included in the Foreign Exchange Management Act? The recent Foreign Exchange Management Act now encompasses various types of payments made through international credit cards while abroad, including air travel, hotel booking, entertainment, and food expenses. However, for expenditures exceeding 2.6 crores, prior approval will be necessary. New notification imposes this limit for personal transactions such as expenses, gifts, and medical treatment. Experts believe that the introduction of the 20% TCS rate may result in a decline in the value of transactions carried out through international credit cards. Now the question stands, can you claim your credit back? Taxpayers will have an opportunity to claim the refund of the 20% TCS rate during the process of filing their income tax returns. However, the tax collected at source could potentially lead to cash flow challenges for certain taxpayers since the returns will only be accessible after the income tax returns have been processed. 